Right guys, we are jumping into the round of 32 between Neutral Bear and Lemons 1-2-1. Neutral Bear, the clear favourite in this matchup, the much more stronger and experienced player around Brigadier level currently. His opponent, Lemons, uh, a relative unknown, captain level, um, but playing a matchup which many describe as either balanced or slightly British favours. And I feel that the uh, British Civ here... They do have options, um, possibly they want to be slightly more forward thinking than their Japanese opponents to have a, a decent chance here. Right, so the game is loading in, currently saving the recorded game for you guys to enjoy at a later point. Come on, come on. Are you ready? Looks like uh, the game is finally loaded, and we are ready for this game to begin. Yes. The map we're spawning into for this game is Fraser River. Two hunting base, two mines as well nearby and some trees. Uh, both players spawning on this raised plateau area with many treasures, uh, hunts, mines in the central valley with a two uh, trading routes going through. Two by uh, two TPs going through the middle of the map. And having a very quick look at the map band so far. About it's it, one, two, three. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with the map band, so we're going to crack on with this game. We do see a market being thrown down by Lemons. However, I don't actually believe it was a coin. It was a coin crate start, Neutral Bear. Uh, what he, well, no, Neutral Bear picking up 90 uh, coin, 20 coins, so I don't believe it is a coin start. So Lemons go market and a house on just a... Um, well, just a uh, woods, uh, food, food woods, just a food stop. No, Lemon's already picked up uh, some coin. How many did he mine? He can mine 20 coin, picked up a coin treasure, and then, yeah, woods crate start because it was uh, 300 available to get the manor house, the markets, and hunting dogs. I was just getting confused because I, I, I couldn't see the coin crate. I was like, why is a market coming down on a... Uh, on a not a coin crate start, but uh, there it is. There's the answer. Lemon's picking up coin treasures, mine a little bit, and spending an extra wood on hunting dogs early on. Neutral Bear picking up 50 food on the top side. You can see his explorers have gone complete different directions and scouting the map in their own uh, unique way. We have the first uh, Japan monk going down to the eastern side, working on 90 food treasure. But the problem is, the explorers are so far away from each other, they can't actually help each other out. And Japan monks are not the greatest on their own, but look at this high-level kiting ability from Neutral Bear, keeping one uh, wolf out of the combat for as long as possible, with Neutral taking these uh, wolves down once at a time. Is that risk of it getting his treasure stolen? Uh, however, Lemons' explorer is on the other side of the map and will not be anywhere near this treasure in time to contest. So 90 food is going to be picked up from Neutral Bear on this side. Uh, 120 XP in nearby as well. Uh, Neutral could possibly take that down with the two monks working together. But certainly with 90 food for one monk while your other monk is out on the map picking up treasures like 50 food and 20 coin is also very, very useful at the same time. Right, so the governor is being researched from Lemons, uh, sending most of his villagers onto wood in transition to get a few manor houses down. One villager making his way, or her way, to the middle of the map. Throw down a manor house, control this hunt, but also 
be able to build some military buildings once you aged up. And the outpost, I'm expecting to be moved forward as well. Uh, Tushoga Shrine being made from a neutral bear. And just to confirm that, yes, it is due to Shoga Shrine. Building it with three villagers and walling the front's uh, plateau entrance up. And it wants to try and uh, keep this elk hunt inside this plateau. But unfortunately, that's not how um, the hunts work. They just will just eventually walk around the cliff if they have to. Even if it is uh, 100 miles long, they just want to get on, they will do anything they can to get on the other side of the wall. More importantly though, Neutral Bear wants to compl close off this ward to stop any aggressive playstyle from the British civilization. And we do see uh, the British Civ already aging up to the next age. Two villas forwards and enough woods to throw down an early barracks. Where we see these two uh, villagers dropping down the barracks could be a stable. Nope, there's going to be barracks straight on top of this middle position. And that outpost wagon is moving across the map as we speak. Let's have a quick look at Lemon's deck and see what type of shipments he has available to work with. Six musketeers available, no six longbows, and versus a sieve like Japan, maybe six longbowmen, the smarter decision in age two. Uh, all the wood and coin crates has 600 coin as well. Not often you see that. Um, no four vills, but it does include yeah, 700 food and 600 coin. Noosh sends himself heavily. Kami is card number one. Portuguese consulate as well. Uh, bit dropped down by a neutral bear. I believe that has been with us since the start of the game. We can look at text completed. Yes, early consulate coming in from neutral bear. Dropping down a long forward wall segment as well. Closing off any entrance uh, for the British player. So the British player now, five musketeers come out. But they will see this wall and, feel, and think, ah, oh, about to siege this down. And that just buys the Japan player so much time to be able to drop down the barracks. Yeah, the barracks is not even up yet. Those musketeers could be on top of that barracks, uh, raiding the villagers, denying the military production. However, this wall uh, only costing five wood a segment, but this wall itself, one, two, three, twenty wood, has slowed down these five musketeers and ensured a, a game-changing um, action here of the. Lemon sieging down the backs before it's completed just avoids that possibility and very smart play from Neutral Bear here. Ah, another batch of musketeers does come out from the barracks, sieging down a couple shrines. Is he sent looks like it's just just a two musketeer batch there just to move back, start sieging shrines. Five musketeers are still trying to siege a wall, but it won't even go down before they have to retreat due to the Yumi archers popping out from Neutral Bear's barracks. Shogo Shrine has the full um, animal count on the shrine. Does drop another shrine on these elks nearby. Uh, Swan Explorer is back at home to help defend. Another Explorer is out on the British player's side, shrining their hunts, which is a very nice play. I think Lemons has scouted this hunt up here. I know Nushal hasn't, uh, but Nushal's thinking he's got good control over these extra hunts from uh, Lemons. And yeah, it's certainly a good place to start shrining. And you can see how Neutral has shrines on Lemon's side of the map instead of shrining down here, which is closer to the British players' barracks, forward outpost, and just generic center of the British army's power. Steel traps have been completed for Lemons. No place of mines, no gangs were just yet. No great coats, uh, but. I don't believe a villager has been lost at this moment in time. Uh, Neutral Bear is playing very defensive, trying to go for the economic play of going for 600 woods into a shrine boom. Fourville, Fourville as well, and is now starting to push out with the stronger military force and is going to move on to Lemons' base. Musketeers were on treasure contention duties as well as sieging down a shrine. Looks like that uh, XP treasure was picked up by Neutral Bear before both players aged up. And the Explorer is just there just to add extra siege damage to the Musketeers taking down Neutral's shrines. I have to say, so far, I think it's been pretty well played by the British player. Um, keeping Neutral's shrine count somewhat in check. Um, decent villager count behind as well, but only at 90 shrine pop. 
Uh, gang saw would be very nice to have at this point, just to help chop into the trees. Uh, no place of mines as well. Uh, the coin income is slightly reduced, but you only have seven bills gathering, so it's not the biggest world. But now with a stable dropping by, I feel that some of these economic upgrades would be very useful just to help that production of your military units behind this. And now we see Ashy Raid coming from Neutral Bear on the right hand side. Ashy Raid on top of his villagers, no great coats. Uh, villagers going down straight away. Single volleys. I think there's enough Ashes to one shot villagers with great coats anyway. Neutral Bear could have split up these Ashy Garus um, to pick off his villagers quicker, but all four do fall. And that is also the strength of Ashy, is being able to run faster than villagers. Great coats does come in now from Lemons, but you've already lost four villagers. As I said, though, I don't think that matters too much. Ashy's moving back to the Explorer for cover. And maybe trying to kind of push the Minutemen and Longbows onto these units. But Minutemen being called at full speed. Ashigaros just gets to run away. And it's just the liberty those units with their higher base speed have. And it's one of the reasons why Japan is just considered one of those top sieves. And chasing after these Longbows who can't stop to fire because of their setup animation. Free pickups here for Neutral Bear. I'm going to turn around and pick up these Minutemen because they're now on low HP. Uh, this is some great unit control so far from Neutral Bear, making the full use out of the Japan civilization. Ashigaro top uh, raid top side. However, the Sars are here to help deal with the Ashis, but. Um, you certainly don't want to try and engage these Ashes just with Hussars. Uh, you will tr you know, pick off the Ashy Garrows, but you will basically lose all your Hussar HP. Now waiting for the Musketeers to reinforce from behind. And it's a good cleanup here from Lemons. And in the end, does clean up that raid very effectively. Uh, does lose one Hussar for it. Uh, possibly another couple extra Vils as well. But has defended himself from Japan raiding for the time being. Neutral Bear though. Very happy with what he's accomplished so far in the second age. He's now aging up to the third age, aging up with the Golden Pavilion. Uh, one villager from Lemons trying to hunt one of these elks which were shrined up and you can see how the hasn't been retasked. Um, it does show as an idle villager so hopefully Lemons can sort that out afterwards. But more shrining coming up from Neutral on the right side and frustrating these villagers. Should be able to um, at least herd these elks away from the shrines and at least allow him to give, give them some hunting. Asar's siege in the shrines would take a while for it to eventually break. Uh, Musketeer mass on the southern side actually breaking through the shrines fairly quickly. It's good to see. Lemons does send 700 coin into Asar HP just to get that cav mass. I don't think Lemons is thinking of aging at this point, And if he does age, it will take a while for him to do so. Given that the British civilization do not have a fast age polit politician to the third age. Bestieros, Yumi Archers and Ashi Garros moving out of their base to start engaging with the British Army. Uh, veterancy upgrades coming for the Yumis and the Ashis at the same time. Uh, quite a lot of carded Hussars here. Um, they, they were thinking about moving in. However, once they saw the Ashis decided to back off, a reinforcing batch of eight Ashi Garros being shipped from Neutral Bear. First card in age 3 has really pushed these Hussars back and it'll be a tough engagement here for Lemons to take if he is going to take it. I feel that he is though because he needs to do something to try and um, put some sort of uh, pain on what Japan's been doing because otherwise Japan's got to the third age for free. Hussars engaging, most of them to the southern side but actually fighting with this 
high HP Explorer. Yumi Archer's kiting back behind the Ashigaru line. Ashi's making that solid front line. But all the cavalry units have already gone down. And the Yumi Archer mass has barely been touched. And Yumi Archer's now decimating through the Musketeers. Uh, longbows aren't trading very well versus Yumi Archer's. Less attack, less HP. Uh, first card where the bow comes in from Neutral Bear as well. Stronger military units and more military unit population. This is a one-sided fight. And Lemons will, be, will do very well to retreat from this position. But I feel he's forced into fighting. Because he just has no... He can't re age behind this. And the GG has been called. Neutral, be Neutral Bear taking the 1-0 versus Lemons. And will be pushing through into the round of 16. I think Lemons was really caught off guard by the wall in from Neutral Bear. Uh, really wanting to push in with those five musketeers, get a bit of raiding done, get in the face of Neutral Bear and you know try and force a mistake from the Japan player. But uh, one layer of wall on this raised plateau was enough to keep the five musketeers at bay. Dropped a second layer of wall in behind as insurance policy. Five Yumi Archers came out to scare the Musketeers. And then from there, Neutral Bear was able to shrine the map, send four villagers twice, age up safely, get the disciplined techs in, and even felt safe enough to go for Way of the Bow as well instead of maybe another age reshipment. Could have gone for nine Yumi instead of Way of the Bow, but felt comfortable to send Way of the Bow card at this point. And yeah, it's, it's a straightforward game in the end. Uh, Lemons had a uh, felt like a decent start. However, as the game went on and the raid starts to came in from Neutral Bear, felt that Lemons his lead started to slip. You can look at the villager population. You can probably see a couple of these raids happening. Uh, two villas coming down here. Four from that dropping down that barracks as well. So good raiding from Neutral Bear. There's the seventh coming down. Uh, Neutral Bear just training villagers behind as well as sending four villas twice. Same number of villagers as the British player. Um, idleless economy due to how Japan gathers all their resources in base pretty much. Um, well, well <laughs> apart from this, don't look at that. <laughs> Cherry orchards running out and sh mines running out. Uh, but also having all these shrines gathering out on the map. Very, very useful. And Nusha having the stronger eco, which just helped him push his advantage.